Now, scorching temperatures have led to 24 hot car deaths so far this year in the United States. It's so tragic. A seven-month-old girl died in Shreveport after being left inside a car for at least six hours. Two summers back, I heard that there were a lot of babies dying from being left in hot cars because there were record high temperatures. And that was really sad. Meet Lydia Denton, not your average 12-year-old with a passion for protection. The daughter of a science teacher, Lydia's interest in computer coding came naturally and has even gained recognition for her ideas and inventions. Most notably, the Beat the Heat car seat created to combat infant hot car deaths. I wanted to be able to help that, and so I used my knowledge of circuits and coding to create the Beat the Heat car seat. I programmed this microchip to monitor this pressure sensor, which activates as soon as the child is placed into the car seat. The temperature of the car seat exceeds 100 degrees. Listen to warning text at parents' phone and alarm will sound. No reset is received. It uses GPS to find the location of the car seat and contacts 911 to give the coordinates of the car seat. The first responders can race to the rescue. To ensure deaths from heat stroke are eliminated. While the main concept for the Beat the Heat car seat was inspired to protect infants, Lydia envisions much more. I just think that it can be used for so many different things, like for a cargo hold for pets and it's just getting recognized for the car seat part of it. When really it should be recognized for all of it. Thinking big is nothing new for this preteen and the message for her peers is clear. I just want to encourage other kids like me who love inventing to be able to get their ideas out there and be able to do something with them. I feel like that's an important thing people need to know that when they get acknowledged for their ideas being cool or important, that they get motivated to have more of those cool or important ideas.